you know, after Big Brother, Big Brother Africa, everybody was doing something. And I was like, what? I'm just being left out. So let me try something else. So I had Huda clothing, which didn't really work out because I was very young. I wasn't, um, I didn't know much about business. Three years later, I was, I, I mean, I looked at the way people wear makeup in Kenya. And I realized a lot of young girls, women, they want to look good, but they don't want to spend, they don't want to spend like 3,500 on a lipstick, you know, and lipsticks really don't last long. So I was like, why don't I just come up with something that is affordable, um, long lasting. Actually, most of my cosmetics are long lasting. That's how I came up with the idea of Huda Cosmetics. First of all, I was actually doing it for me. For the, I mean, <laughs> particularly, cause I was like, I'm tired of buying lipsticks that don't really, they're cracky, you know, the scent is not what I really like, but I'm glad that my age group is like from people who buy my cosmetics um, from 16 to 35. My first lipstick, it was like on a, in January, 2016. And it wasn't really good, it was very bad. It was cracky, it was cakey. It took me seven months to actually come up with the formula that I have right now. I knew the issue was that these lipsticks are too dry. In Africa being too dry, you need to have more of a moisturizer into it. So my lipsticks go for uh, a thousand bob, which is very affordable. Um, when I began my cosmetics, I only had like um, eight lipsticks, which were very like, best sellers um, up to now still, because that's what I really started with. And it's grown now, I have like 20 shades of lipsticks. And I have eyeliner, I have eyeshadows, I have wipes, makeup remover wipes. I have lip gloss. My popular product is a lipstick called Vamp, actually what I'm wearing right now. If people want to get my products, they can get at hudastore.com or they can get from my distributors who are on my Huda Cosmetics page on Instagram. And also I have other places. I have distributors in Rwanda, in Burundi, in Tanzania, in Uganda. I think like almost, most parts of Africa. <laughs> Social media is a beautiful thing. You know, it's actually one of the best things that have, has ever happened in, I mean, in our generation. Most of my stuff, I just sell them online. Not, I don't really, cause I don't have a store, you know, and distributors get me through online posting and all that, yeah total of the distributors I have in Kenya, they're like 36. Um, the challenges are fix. Fix actually are the biggest um, challenge right now. And also competition, like everybody's trying to do cosmetics right now. Everyone is just thinks it's easy. It's not easy, you know. Bigger companies want to maintain the market and stay in the market. And um, marketing, you have to really invest so much on marketing. You have to set a lot of money aside for marketing. My vision of success for my brand is the day I reach a billion dollars. That's when I'll be successful. I say I'm successful and I'll be co content with what I have. And also money is not really like the key to success. You know, for me, that will help me to help other people, other young girls, young men, you know, start industries and stuff like that and create employment other people that's really what success means success means you <laughs> you've achieved something for other people put a smile on other people's faces that's very important you know because no matter how much money you have you can't enjoy it till you leave this world you know mm -hmm.